Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks and today I'm going to talk about Figma variables which is boolean and how to use boolean variable in Figma, how to create radio button using boolean variable in Figma and how to copy paste interaction in Figma. So let's start. Here I'm taking one frame and this frame will have radio button so for the radio button we need to take the ellipse and here i have taken this so here is 40 and 40 So we'll just copy this and we'll make this 20 and 20. So now the color, so we'll select any color, we'll place it here. So this radio symbol is done. Now we need a text. So for text, radio list one so we'll make it align to this and then group this now we'll just copy and here we'll give the name of group radio list one and then just copy this and here we'll give name of radio list 2 so here we'll make it 2 and again we'll take this and make it radio list 3 So this work is done. Now if we want to use boolean, so first we have to see here local variables and create variable. Here select boolean and here I'm going to give the name radio list. So radio list one make the value false the same way radio list 2 value false and the third one radio list 3 and the value false now the next so what I'm going to do next is assigning the value or the set the value so here while we are selecting here you can see this is ellipse one and this is the selection so in selection i am passing through the value so this is radio list one the same way here this is radio list two and here radio list three so this work is done next moving to the prototype select this so this group is get selected and here interaction on click and here we have to select the condition so if radio list one equal to false we need to add the action so here if radio list 1 equal to false set variable radio list 1 true so this is the first condition and then again we have to add the another condition so in other condition here I am adding 
radio list one equal to true, then radio list two false. So why I'm adding two condition and I'm going to add the third condition also because one of the list will be selected in the radio list. So the same way, once the radio list one is true, other get false. So adding the another condition, if radio list one equal to true, then I have to set variable radio list three false. So just I am repeating this. So first condition, all are false. While I am clicking on that, it is getting true. So once the radio list one is true, then another radio list two and three will be false. So this is the way. And then the next thing, I am going to copy paste the interaction. So click here. Control C, select this, Control V, select this, Control V. So now just we need to change this. Instead of radio list 1, I am going to make it radio list 2. So once the radio list 2 is false, we will set the variable radio list 2 equal to true. And once the radio list 2 is true, then radio list 1 will be false. In a third condition also, radio list 2 is true, then radio list 3 will be false. The same way here, if radio list 3 is false, then make it first this true so radio list 3 true the same way radio list 3 true then radio list 2 false and radio list 3 true then radio list 1 false so now we'll preview So we'll check this, it is working fine. So radio list is working absolutely fine and we no need to create multiple variant, just we can use this Figma variable to create the radio list. So now we'll come here and come to local variable, we'll see how it is working. You can see here. So it is making all true, but we have added the condition to making one is true, then others false. And once the second is true, other two is false. So this is the easiest way to create fast prototyping and uh, very easy. So how is the lesson? Please write on the comment. Thank you. Thank you very much.